Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a grocery haul for you. So first I'm going to do a bit of a story time. So basically as we all know the coronavirus is a major thing right now. It's who the World Health Organization have classified it as a pandemic. Um, there's been travel restrictions. Um, obviously Italy is on lockdown and um, Donald Trump has stopped um, flights from Europe except for the UK and Ireland um, which is pretty good but you know it doesn't really affect me because I'm not going to Ireland because I'm not going because I'm not flying to the US um, anyways so I'm sure this is a thing in every single person's town and country is that people are panic buying well I went today on a Thursday to do my normal weekly shopping like I always do and um, I was met by pandemonium. <laughs> um, basically there was just people panic buying everywhere. There were so many people in the store, way, way, way more than usual. Um, so this is at what time is it? It's straight after I dropped Ava to school, so at like 10 past 9 and there was just a flock of people. There was no toilet roll in Little. There was no pastas, there was no eggs, there was no um, porridge, sugar, flour, um, obviously like hand soaps and all that sort of stuff. Um, then when I went to Tesco's thinking it might be slightly better, it was just a teeny bit better. Um, I got a bag of porridge, a very small one. There's only small bags of porridge or the microwavable ones. No toilet roll. There was no um, pastas. I got. I picked up one box. There was like a box of the really dear ones left and I got that just because I have none left. Like I have zero left. Um, yeah, and I did kind of partake a little bit in the panic buying. Not very much. Um, you know, but I did kind of get sucked up into it. So you'll see now at my haul, but um, I'd love to know down in the comments whether you have experienced this. Is there people panic buying? Are you panic buying? Um, I'm not saying that it's wrong or right or anything like that. Um, I'm just saying that um, it, it's happening, you know. So I would love to know your experience in the grocery store or your experience with empty shelves or if you are stocking up on items and what it is specifically that you're stocking up on. I would love to know that in the comments. So let's jump in and do today's pricely grocery haul. So the first one out is Tesco's. Um, so let's jump in and see what we got. So you can see we got a Brennan spread. These are on special, so we got three of the two liter bottles of Coke. Zero, Coke Zero. We got two of the ten fish fingers Omega Tree. They were on sale. We got two of the bunny bites for Ava. I really enjoyed these last week, so I picked up another packet of these 1.5 kg bag or a kg of oven chips. I picked up two of these, so these are the steam fresh Mediterranean vegetable rice, so two of those. I also picked up um, a bag of these hearty far farmhouse mix, again it's the steam fresh bags. This is the pasta that was remaining, um, so I picked up some tortelloni, I'm thinking that's what I say it. Two of the Domino stir and pasta sauces. We picked up some goat yogurts for Ava, the Glenisk ones. Also picked up two of the goat milk. I found this here, which is the first time I've actually found it there. It's the pasta sauce or the pizza sauce that we love. We got some chef's brown sauce. We also got some sweet barbecue sauce. Then there was like a special for five for five euros. So in that I picked up two four packs of the small crunchies. These are my favorite right now. Um, these natural confectionery sour squirms. And then for the same company some jelly snakes. And then to finish that off, there was these pack of hunky dories. So it was the five of those items here for five euro. I picked up one pack of the tortilla wraps for Robert. And then this 
bag one kilo of um, porridge oats this is the last one remaining on the shelf so the total cost that we spent today in Tesco's was 52 euros 76 cent or 75 cent really so then this is what I got in little so First thing out are these sweet and salted popcorn. So I've been getting these for the last number of weeks and I love them, like really, really like them. Then I got my organic milk, a super sweet pineapple. Back here we have loose celery, which I was really, really impressed with that they had loose ones. So I picked up that. We got a net of white onions and that's just because they were on um, special this week. We got some burger buns. We got one tin of tuna steak. We then got a small thing of strawberries and I will go to my fruit and veg shop and pick up a bigger um, one of these probably tomorrow or Saturday. I got a red pepper, which I just seen kind of has some blemishes on it. Also a yellow pepper. Two of the loose conference pears. A loose leek. Again, this was on a special this week. Some of the sandwich lettuce. Some potatoes. Rooster potatoes on their weekly special. One of these crusty rolls. This easy garlic. So this is my second time getting this. I'm repurchasing this. I actually kind of really like it. It's just super simple. Two of their jam donuts. I've never got these version of their sugar waffles before, um, but I'm gonna give them a try. Three packets of their crumbed ham. Two tomato passata. Two of these chicken legs. So this is what was on their weekly special this week. Two of these potato bravas. A roast chicken breast pieces. Some cheesy singles. Some tomato paste. Mature red cheddar cheese, some pork sausages, some unsmoked rashers, some of their beef quarter panders. We got these last week, they were actually very nice, so we got them again. This was on their special chicken Kievs, some meatballs. Up here we have mint chocolate round biscuits that we always get. These yummy uh, strawberry blackberry raspberry smoothies for Ava. And then I forgot I actually got this but I picked up more frozen um, chips. So now we have lots of frozen chips. So this is everything for the week. And the price it came to was 48.39. So we went to Tesco's again, um, so basically we got these large pizza bases, some organic eggs, we got some cooking chocolate, we got a huge bag of tea bags, it's 440 bags, we then picked up some of these um, curry noodles, some mozzarella cheese, some of these refills for our dishmatic. A thing of spaghetti. Back here we have 55 of the fairy pods. We got two of the Dalmio sauces. A pack of this ragatoni. A 5% mince. We got, got the big thing of dairy gold. Some chorizo. And then back here we have two of their nine rolls of luxury um, toilet roll. 
So basically it is, what time is it? It was like, right now it's 10 to 9 at night. Um, and myself and Robert went to the shop, Ava isn't here. Um, but we went because we had to get toilet roll and butter. Um, so while we were there and there was a couple of things, we just picked up the extra bits that you can see there. So um, realistically, if there's any lockdown or anything like that, we're pretty much sorted for a while anyway. So um, yeah, you know, there was actually a good amount of toilet roll left. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and there wasn't any bread or uh, that sort of stuff and we looked for more goat's milk for Ava and there wasn't any but we do have three so realistically I was probably only going to get two if they had good dates on it um, but yeah we picked up these extra bits and we'll see how it goes that is it thank you so much for watching I will talk to you in the next video bye